Good morning, Toasters. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You know, it's always a pleasure when Phil speaks because he's so smooth and eloquent. <laughs> he's likable. And talk about lighting up a room like you do, Scott, with a smile. He does in space, in my opinion. <clears throat> his message today was to inspire the group with the content of his speech. Speaking of America, provided it's all good, always inspires someone like me. Going through 230 years of history in a mere eight minutes, <laughs> I should probably say six minutes because we had the setup, is something quite an accomplishment. But yet he kept it very interesting. It flowed well. It was very well prepared. It was highly informational. And it was moving to someone like me. As expected, you would expect Phil, on his specialty speech booklet, to have clear diction, which he did. Great eye contact. His hand gestures were exemplary. I thought his pauses were very effective in making subtle points. Gave listeners time to think about it. And I absolutely loved your repeated diction saying, God bless America. In the future, I would say anytime you use a multimedia arrangement like we had, it has to be set up. It consumed a lot of valuable time. I would have liked to hear more. No doubt, you're <coughs> quite aware of that. Charlene, you mentioned the importance of having a quick start and, and leading with impact. Guess what? A slow start makes you always in a scramble recovery mode. And I think probably Phil sensed a little of that. I also think you read your notes a little bit. I think that was only because you were scrambling to begin with. All in all, it was a terrific speech, quite informative, very motivational, and very patriotic. Thank you, Phil.